For this tutorial, I'll show you how to build, arrange, record, and share your soundscape. I'll start by adding howler monkeys. I'll add a troop. I'll add a single howler monkey, and then I'll add call and response. Notice the top of the screen. This is called the top note timeline. Each time an animal is added, an icon shows in this timeline, and this is where the animals sound in relation to each other. So I've added a mountain gem hummingbird. I'll add a green ibis down here by the stream. And I think I'll probably add a morpho butterfly too. Because the morpho butterfly's wings are so quiet, I created a little sound for the butterfly here. Tap the bar at the bottom of the screen for compose options. The button to the right is called the surprise button. Tap the surprise button and random animals will populate your soundscape. The soundscape loop is two minutes long. You can follow your soundscape progress by looking at the yellow moving bar in the top note timeline. Moving the animals around in Explorer here does not change where they sound in the timeline. In order to change that, we'll need to go to Compose. The Compose button is to the far left in the bottom menu. To the right of the Compose button is the top note on and off button. But before we do that, we'll look at rhythm and melody. You can add rhythm and melody to your soundscape as well. So the buttons at the bottom, there's a rhythm button. You can turn rhythm one on, and then rhythm two, and then you can turn the rhythms off. There's a melody button, turn melody one on, Melody 2, and you can turn the melody off. You can do either melody or rhythm, or combine one melody and one rhythm at a time. So now I'll tap Compose. Again, the Compose button is to the far left in the bottom menu. We'll open up the Compose window. The Compose window allows you to move an animal's sound. Touch and slide the animal to the left or the right to move it in time. So you can place the sound wherever you want in your soundscape. And I'm moving everything around 20 seconds here. Each animal, rhythm, and melody has its own track, so you may have to scroll up and down in order to see the animals you've added. Once you're happy with where your animals sound in the soundscape, you can return to explore. You've created your soundscape, and now it's time to record it. Tap the microphone. You can see you have several options to record your soundscape. If you choose the 15 second option, your soundscape will automatically stop at 15 seconds. If you choose the record soundscape up to two minutes option, keep in mind you can stop at any time by tapping the microphone again. Tapping the microphone will stop the recording. Using the iPad's external mic, you can also record your voice with the soundscape. This is a very cool feature. You can tell a story, mimic an animal, give a report, or send a message with your voice and soundscape to friends and family. Once you've completed recording your soundscape, tap the microphone again and you'll see some new options. You now have the choice to listen back to what you've recorded, delete what you recorded, or share your soundscape with other people. Notice at the top, the red line in the top note timeline is the length of your recording. Tap Share and a window will open to share your soundscapes with friends and family. In the next tutorial, I'll show you the Nature Maestro Challenge Games.